Hey guys, welcome back to Park Metal Detecting. I got a special surprise for you. We're doing three videos, the coming videos. We went back to that park. We found six rings, and I thought, well, you know, I, I tried a couple outings, didn't find anything. I thought, I got to go in a different place, mate, right? So a lot of the things I've been telling you about is like go places that other people don't go. Well, I did that. We went to the other way on the other side of the park, and I, I found rings. I mean, I. Did I say rings? I found some rings. Yeah, my, I mean, won't tell you how many, but we found rings. So six is no longer six rings at this park. And also a lot of jewelry too. You'll be able to see some of the tips that I'll be doing through the video that uh, from the beginning, middle, and end of the video, using maybe three or four of those on each video. So make sure you watch all the video. That might be the one that you will help you find that big treasure, that big diamond ring, that big gold ring that you've been looking for. Let's get started with the first video. We're back at the park today. This is the other side of the park where I found the six rings. Way over that way where I found the six rings. There's that little tot lot that's in this park. I'm gonna hit that before I take off. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that bell. Hit the bell and subscribe. Um, also to double, if you have a mobile device, double tap the screen so you can automatically hit, hit a like. If not, do the old fashioned way with the mouse or tapping on it with your tablet, however that works. And uh, that really helps the channel grow. We're almost, uh, what are we? Almost 1,700 subscribers strong already. And I think by the end of uh, this month, we'll be well over 2,000. All right, we'll see you in the hunt. Today we're using the Equinox 900. I usually get out in the red, just because I like a wide swing, you cover more ground. You don't want to be just going like this. You want to be going like this when you're detecting. First tip of the day. I'll probably give you about eight tips. So that was the first tip right there. All right. And let's see. I did not hit the volume. 25. No, no threshold. All tones. Uh, today we're going to hit this up a little bit. Let's see here. Let's notch everything back in here. So we got... It sounds like a good tone. So accept... Step, 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 step. Okay. So that should sound, four should sound like a good tone. And we're going to do all metal mode too. Let's get back out of here. There we go. Now we're sensitivity, still 22. It's kind of chatty. Okay. Part two. Right off the bat, we've got some pretty good tones here. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. There's a 60 right here. Is that a big signal? It says it's 2. When I'm raising it, it still didn't really change. We're going to pass on that. There's a 67. It says it's a one right there. There's a couple there. A couple, a couple targets right here. So, battery. We got a fairly new battery in here. So I'm not gonna mess with the uh, that. Next to the tree, of course. I hate these trees. I think these are sycamores. With the bark. And they got some really nasty surface roots sometimes. Okay, reach. Put this tune back into this. On the, it's in the plug. What do you think it might be? It was a 60, what, seven or something like that? Over here. Mm, it looks like some foil. Some aluminum, that's part of a shrapnel of a can top there. All right, first yucky target of the day. Wasn't there one over here too? <coughs> I was getting like a double blip. Oh, wait a minute, there's a surface fine here. We have a dime. Uh, Garrett's having a cow. Having a cow there, Gary. Yeah, it's a new, fairly new dime. Cool. Two for one. I like the two for one sales. Look at that thing. It's getting bent up. 
need to put that in the vise. I think I said that last time, and I didn't do it. All right, we do have some flags today. We're going to do some gridding, possibly. So there were two targets here. Let's detune it again. Oh, could we have a coin spill here? I don't know. Let me see. Do we still have a good target here? Yeah, we do. So let's see if we can get some more coins out of here. Be nice if we could get more than one coin. Okay. Looks like it's right in here somewhere. I think it's on the surface. And yeah, there's another coin. That is a. Oh, what is that? Is that a nickel? Wow, look at that. Multiple coin spill. A dime and a nickel. Somebody running around the corner trying to get the ice cream man and uh, maybe hit the tree. Get a George of the Jungle. Watch out for that tree. All right. Wow. 65 said it's on the surface as well got us a little coin spill here right off the bat gotta love it right there these flat these little flags are gonna drive me crazy I think we'll have to do something with them all right so right here Let's shut the gear right up just a little I gotta remember to de tune it back in Should be in the club here. Did I? Sh I think I just shook the coin out. <laughs> I did. It's a penny, a memorial. Cool. All right. This camera does not have. What do they call that? Um. When you shake, and it takes out the vibration. Well, it doesn't have that. What do they call that? Vib. Um. Stability. Stability, no stability in this camera, so uh, I have to be careful when I'm banging on stuff. Well, yet another coin in this coin spill. Ongoing coin spill. Who knew that you would find some other treasures here? There, it's too close to the metal. Alright, if you guys have a GP style pin pointer, save your money up and get a good one and use give that one to your friends to use when they borrow. Say if you got a, like a loaner, I have two loaner detectors, we're both Xterras, and that, that's the loaner. <laughs> Sorry buddies, but I, I can't afford to get two Garrett's. Not on what I make for, uh, for uh, YouTube, because I don't make anything right as yet. Boy, you're just chatty today. Oh, there we go. There's another penny. It's kind of like hard to see. I'm in the shadows there. And this camera kind of bites when it comes to darkness. All right, another memorial. Awesome. That makes what, three coins? Or four coins? Four coins. It had a, um, a couple pennies, a dime, and a nickel already just in this one little spot. So I'm going to check this really thoroughly because usually there's stuff in the pocket. You could have some jewelry in there. And of course more coins. There's a 20. What? Ooh, what's that? Wow, we got some other good signals here. 89, that's a little, 90, well that's really high, could be, could that be a coin, easy, that's like a silver, half a dollar, let's see if I can pinpoint it, right there, it's on the surface, we'll just hit up the shovel, and I'll just dig a really shallow, Right there. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> let's see what we got here. 
All right. Um, I'm gonna have to make me another pen pointer because I lost mine. In the, I think it's in my truck somewhere. In the black hole of the truck in the back. Man, I'm gonna have to dig through. This was a 94. What could it be? I'm hoping it's some jewelry. Because uh, that's a really high, high tone. Silver quarters are usually what, 88, 89? And uh, so let's see. Let's see here. Wasn't it over here somewhere? It'd be nice if it was something else besides that. Ooh. No, it's not it. Oh, wow. What is this? Oh, it is a quarter. Wow, that was awful high for a quarter. 67. Oh, man, we missed it by a couple years. Yeah, 1967 there. Get it away here. You can see it. It's an eagle bag. That wasn't very far down. Cool. And that was really interesting tone for that. Why was that so high? I'm just kind of curious. Let me find it here real second. I already threw it in my bag. So let's see what that reads here. It says 86. Huh. There must be something else in the ground because it was like 90, 94. It was really up there. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do something with this. I feel like I'm being shish kebab by these metal things here. What I'm gonna do, I will put these in my pocket the other way. There we go, now it's sticking up. At least now it's not gonna poke me. I feel like I'm a marshmallow on a stick. Ah, it's right there. Wow. So it looks like it says eight inches. Two inches, so like a twenty. So I can pinpoint it. See, it's I gotta detune it. Even the detector you can detune just by hitting that button again. See where it's there? Now if I go like this, turn it back off, the pinpoint, turn the pinpoint back on. Now it's even shorter. Right there. It says it's four inches down, it's a 20. I don't know what that could be. There's a big root right there. It's not gonna come out real willingly. Oh, man. Four inches down, it said. It goes down to one inch now, so it's gotta be right there. All right. Of course, it's right next to the big honking root. Right there. Oh gosh. Let's detune this a little bit. All right, maybe I'll get fortunate enough where I can get it between the root here. Yeah, I think I got it. Oh wow, look at this. This is a big old clump of foil that probably a host is ding dong. That's what it looks like a hostess ding dong coil ball. Somebody thought it would be funny. It's super light. Made out of aluminum. Wow. Okay. That's why it felt like it was a little bigger than normal target. So I pound if I pound this with holding my head with my hand, it probably doesn't bang around so much. I'm gonna have to remember to do that until I get my replacement camera. I decided not to get a GoPro 12. If you guys already have one, I'm sorry, but there's something better. And uh, I've been doing a lot of research and found one that's quite a bit better. It's not sounding that good at Target right there. There's another, like a 20. Kind of cherry picking a little just because this is a new area here. I might come back for that.
21. It says it's... On the surface there. That goes up. The number's depth goes up as I raise it, so that tells me it's not too big a target. Should be Garrett should be able to pick it up pretty easy. Right there. I think I'll just use the knife on this one. Lots of roots, of course. But I have enough stock on to make another a couple more pen pointers. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, brass probes. Oh, I didn't get it. It's actually still on the ground over here. My knife's too close. The, the GP, GP pen pointer won't do that, by the way. It's very not very sensitive. And, uh... Yeah, it's in here. Yeah. Was like a 20-something? What do you think that might be? Over here somewhere. Oh, is that it? Oh, what is that? Another piece of foil? I have no idea. It's a glob of something and it's kind of like puppy foil. Uh, okay, somebody gobbed blobbed it up there. There we go. it hmm. kind of rotating to see if it changes in the number 27 right there oh man didn't we just dig that up all right <laughs> All right, let me see if it's in here. No. Totally another different target. It did change the number, if I remember. All right. It did change the number reading, what was that foil that was in there. So, let's see what we got. Oh, we have ourselves a nickel. Look at that. It was, a, it was in the 67, 6... 2627, which is nickel range. This is a 19. What is that? 1960, I believe. Yeah. Can't really tell. Maybe it's a 1990. It's still a nickel. Awesome. All right, let's keep on looking. That's why you always recheck your hole, guys. Recheck the hole. Can't tell you how many times it I have caught multiple coin spills or just a, a coin and I thought it was uh, something else, but the, the junk in there changed the number. That was it. Wow, we found a lot of coins just in this one spot over here, especially. We found a bunch of coins and quarter, dime, some pennies. I don't know if I'm going to get very far. 59 60 Whoa. it's going up high so there's a two right there now it's a one so i think that's actually a decent target whoops right there okay i'm not sure that could be a coin or something else what do you guys think that might be definitely on the surface here all right right there mm. sometimes when you don't have a, a probe you can just get a screwdriver as long as you don't worry don't not worry too much about destroying a coin accidentally that does happen oh look at there I see something I see something oh what is this this is not a penny Ah, foreign coin. What is this? That's not a. I'm not sure. It says cent. 
says Euro. E U. Wait a minute. What? What is this thing? This is not. Didn't look like a peso. R F with a lady. And then it says. I have no idea what this might be. 19. 1999. Three stars above the lady's head says RF. Three stars below. Actually, it's more than three stars. Kind of go across. And on the other side, it says 10. Wish my camera could focus in. Uh, it says something sent. Cool. It's definitely copper. No corrosion. Been down there a while, too. Nice! always like to find foreign coins okay so far you know I thought I was gonna be bust here like man there's nobody gonna come in this section of the park you're just walking through here over here and you come around the corner and all these targets have been right here oh my gosh all right where were we back over here that target, it was a uh, 60, I believe it was a 60. Do people take shortcuts to the uh, bed here? I didn't even check over here. This might have had grass at one time. It's a bottle of some sort. Magnetic cap on there, or I should say, aluminum cap. All right, all right, so there's a twenty. That's like a 55, 58, 56. Get smaller. Right there. So that's two inches down. Alright, let's give it a shot. Two inches. I'm uh, sorry, two bars. So two bars is like four inches. And of course there's some nasty old roots here. I'm not sure if I can even get it out. Wow. Sixty, sixty-four, sixty-six. Right there. All right. So let's see. Ah, that root. Still got that root right there. That was good. Ah. Desensitize. It's right in there. Thank goodness the ground is soft right here. But there's a lot of roots in here. I think it's still in here.
Hey, it's out of the hole, I think. Yeah, whatever it is. Oh, it's a coin. Well, that was down there deep. Down there deep. It's a memorial. Penny. Yeah, not that old. A little crusty, so not that old. Alrighty. Let's root here. Let's see. Forget where I got that at. <laughs> You guys good playing Tetris? Because I am just so so. Alright. Penny saved. Another penny saved from the worms. As I've heard some other commentators, we have to help the worms. They hate it. They can't go around those pennies. That's Merrill detecting New York. Yeah, he's gotten a little w kind of strange on some of his videos. Just the last one, I was like, "What?" I don't know if I'm I am I the only one that's, that's kind of wondering about that. Like, it's a '64. Boy, there's a lot of cars here. Right there, '60. Right there. Just swing back over it. It says four inches down, 64. Alright, so let's give it a shot. My search coil is off a little, if some of you may have already noticed. Has anyone actually ever broken one of these shovels? I heard they don't bend. They, they might break. It's chromoly. For this uh, Predator Tools Model 24. Hey, it's right there. Anything in here? No. What do you think that might be? I'm trying to get out of the shade here so you guys can see. It's on this side. Man, I didn't pinpoint really. I probably could have. Well, it just went flying. Hey, I got the part I want though. All right, oh, there's a coin right there. See the imprint? It is a Rusty Penny Memorial. All righty. That was a pretty easy target. Okay, so let's see if I can uh, pound this back in here. Oh, we found a lot of coins right here already. Especially over there. Sixty-seven. Some branches out here. Further from the tree, maybe a little. It's probably going to be a still a pain to get out. Well, at least I can dig this one a little better. Of course, it's still in the roots. Right there. <sighs> yeah, got it out, whatever. Think, what do you think that might be? Oh, I thought it might have been a coin, but if you said a big old bottle cap made out of aluminum, 62, you were right. Every once in a while, those get me too. There we go. 
think I like the idea of holding my hat while I'm pounding. Doesn't feel like a magnitude six earthquake. And by the way, we are past due over here in Southern California for a good uh, earthquake. Man, I'm still going around the tree here. This tree, probably what, 40, 50 years old? It's a sycamore, I think. If I'm wrong, or am I, am I right? It's a 16. Normally I don't dig. I'm kind of looking for the seventh ring too, guys. I found six rings at this park. Same park. But, oops, too close. Right there. It's four inches down. This proportional. This, the little numbers here, the little, these little dots, triangles facing down, those are each is two inches. So when it's saying eight inches and you're this far up, six inch, eight, and it goes down back to two, four, two, two inches and two inches, two bars, that uh, tells you it's, it's a small target. I'm still, of course, in the hole. <sighs> Is that it right there? Yeah, some foil. Lawn slaw. Lawnmower slaw. Get a lot of that in lawnmower, guys. Just run over the stuff. They don't pick it up. All right. Thinking about going straight out to those trees over there. Maybe after I hit over here. That's where we were. What do you think that is? 28, 29? A little higher than a nickel. Nickel's easy, 26, 27. Howdy. Hit it too close. Right there. 29. Says it's yeah, proportional 29. Okay. We're, oh, we still haven't got away from this tree all the way. In the plug. I like it in the plug. Right over here. Alright, let's try to keep it keep it in the plug here. In the where I dug. Hey, look at that. I'm getting pretty close here. Where is it? What? It's a nickel. Wow. That was I, we were reading like 28, 29. So that's a little higher than a normal nickel. I'm down there pretty far actually too. And the date sit 90 something, so yeah, it's not that old. But cool. Must be something else in it. What's it reading? It's reading 28. Hmm. We're a little chatty here. A little chatty. I'm gonna do another balance of this thing. Come on. We've changed position a little bit. Still nine. That's what it was before. There's some foil. Where's that? I have no phone today, so hey, nobody can bug me. That's a good thing. And I think I left it on my computer desk. Uh, oh well. That was it.
Let's see. Let's get back to here. Wow, what's over here? It's like a... 28, 29. Multiple. Something here. I think that was it. It says it's proportional 29. Could that be another nickel? I don't know. Kind of, looks like it's kind of big there. In the roots, of course. It's on the surface, though. So. It was a proportional target. Every once in a while, you'll get a target that you'll dig and you swear it was shown that it wasn't that far down. Oh, what's here? I see something hiding. Hey, look, another another uh, nickel here. That's pretty cool. That's a newer one. Reading 28. Huh. These are reading a little higher than normal. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Now, if that was jewelry rings up in that range, so that could have been a, a gold ring right there for sure. If you're hitting nickels, you're going to be Eventually, you're going to get some rings, too. Usually, the bling-blings don't ring, read that low. You might get a lot of pull tabs, too, of course. <laughs> we learned that from the pull tab challenge, didn't we? Well, that was it. I don't know. Let's see. What do we have so far? Sometimes I like to pre-dig my targets out here. That was a leaf. We did find a foreign coin already. Sometimes I wish this pouch was a little rounder at the bottom. Of course, this is not really meant to be a finds pouch. It's a, uh, this is a, uh, what do you call it? A tool bag, actually. Let's see if I can just stick them on the old shovel here. I've only been doing this, what, a half hour? Right here? And, uh, is that all my coins? I think that's it. Just as a half hour time right here around this tree coming out of a neighborhood here and uh, found a quarter 67 quarter which we missed by a couple years we found four nickels that's pretty amazing right in this one little spot here four nickels a foreign coin which I have I'm not sure what that is it says cent 10 but uh, I'll look it up on a Google search you can use your camera take a picture of it and do a search just by picture and it will tell you exactly what that is and we have four pennies, five pennies, four pennies, and a dime, a newer dime that was on the, kind of on the surface, and a few junky things. I am not cherry picking because we're digging nickels up. So pretty cool. So I would say this is a successful trip so far. All right, and these are going in the front pocket. So let's see what else we can find. Okay, and these are trash, which I would deposit of when we get to a trash can. All right, let's keep on trucking here. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching the first video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a few things. And don't forget to double tap the screen if you have a mobile device. If not, go ahead and just hit the mouse and hit the uh, thumbs up button. Also, you have two videos over here on this one side, the left side. Uh, make top one will always be the current video. Bottom one will always be something that YouTube recommends to you. And of course, if the subscribe button's on the bottom right. So. Hope you uh, enjoyed the video and happy treasures. See you next time.